Xtools Pro is an extension to ArcGIS Desktop. In this video, we will demonstrate how you can work with GPX files in ArcGIS using the Xtools Pro tools. The Xtools Pro features will be introduced on the example of designing a new tourist trail in the mountains of the Greater Caucasus Range in Krasnodarsky Krai, Russia. The Greater Caucasus Range is one of the most popular tourist attractions for mountain hikers. To design the trail for a wider range of tourists, we should exclude places at a higher altitude in order to avoid mountain sickness. After doing a test hike around the Oshten and Fisht peaks of the Greater Caucasus Range, we've got a GPX file. Now we need to exclude those track segments with heights greater than 2,000 meters and then create the new GPX file. To do this in ArcGIS Pro or ArcMap, we can use the new Xtools Pro features for work with GPX files. First of all, we add our GPX data to the current map view in ArcGIS Pro using Add GPX button from the Xtools Pro ribbon. In the table of contents, we can see an added group layer with GPX waypoints, tracks, and track points. Attribute tables of the layers contain all GPX attributes, including extensions available for the data type. We turn off all the layers except the track points. We can see the track points higher than 2,000 meters, selecting them by attributes. If we create the bar chart with elevation values by selected timestamps, we can estimate the duration of the highest track segment. As we can see, it is longer than four hours. We should replace the highest track segment with another one we've got earlier, passing the mountain peaks. To do it, we import the track points from GPX file to a Geo Database Point feature class. The Xtools Pro import from GPX tool is available from the Xtools Pro gallery on the ribbon. We select to import only track points with all attributes. We won't change the attribute names as we want to export the layer to the GPX file back later. Checking all attributes and clicking on Keep Additional Attributes checkbox. We get all attribute fields available for the track points data type, including extensions. We run the tool. The new imported track points layer is added to the current map view. Selecting track points that should be replaced, we delete them from the imported layer and save changes. Making the point features from the Oshten 2 track layer active and the only selectable, we select and copy them to the clipboard. Using the Paste Special command, we can add the points to the Oshten 1 track point feature class. The edited track points layer needs to be exported to a new GPX file. The Xtools Pro export to GPX tool is also available from the Xtools Pro gallery. We select the track's data type and all attributes to export. As we can see, input fields have been automatically selected for each attribute, but you can specify other fields selecting them from the drop-down menu. We export the layer that has been imported before so we can record additional attribute fields which names are the same as GPX attributes to the output GPX file. The count of them is shown in brackets. We run the tool. The exported GPX file will be created in the specified folder on disk. The new GPX file can be used for the new tour in the mountains of Krasnodarsky Kray. Therefore, the Xtools Pro extension provides the following advantages for working with GPX files. Direct reading GPX files in ArcGIS, ArcGIS Pro and ArcMap. Importing GPX files to shape files or geodatabase feature classes preserving all attributes and extensions. Exporting feature classes or shape files to GPX files. Xtools Pro is the number one productivity suite for ArcGIS professionals. Visit our website to learn more and try Xtools Pro free for 14 days.